Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, May started out on a really warm slash hot note with highs over the weekend in the 70s, 80s, and yes, 90s. But today, it was much, much cooler. Temperatures this afternoon running 20 to 30 degrees colder than what we saw over the weekend. And that cooler weather is here to stay for the foreseeable future. Look at that, highs only in the 50s to around 60 degrees over the next seven days. Our normal high temperature is now 62. So all of those highs are below normal for this time of year. Right now, we've got northeast winds and clouds, and that's keeping temperatures down. It's 41 degrees in Ephraim. We've got 43 in Sturgeon Bay. Meanwhile, we've got a few mid 50s here south and west of Green Bay. Those are the warm spots here in northeast Wisconsin. But once again, a good 25 to 30 degrees colder than what we saw yesterday in Green Bay. Right now it is cloudy and raining. The temperature is 50 degrees in Appleton. We're looking at clouds and rain. It is 54 with north to northeast winds at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. The radar shows a large area of rain covering much of northeast Wisconsin. Right now, the heaviest rain is just to the south and east of Austin. Oshkosh here across much of Fond du Lac County, Calumet County, Manitowoc County, and also western and now central Sheboygan County. And it looks like the heaviest rain will pass just to the south and east of Lake Winnebago as we head through the next several hours. Beyond that, the rain is tapering to showers pretty quickly, and we will see the rain taper to showers as we head deeper into the evening. Our main weather maker over the weekend was this frontal boundary. It was to our north, so we stayed warm, 70s, 80s, and 90s, but it dropped south yesterday, and it has really dropped south today, and that's why we're seeing much cooler readings. We've got the clockwise flow around this area of low pressure riding north and east along the front. That's giving us northeast winds, and with the clouds and the rain, temperatures are quite a bit cooler than what we saw to kick off the month of May. A lot of 40s and 50s out there, and you can see that really all the heat that was Across the upper Midwest over the weekend has been shoved way to the south. And as you saw on your seven day temperature trend, it's not coming back anytime soon. Highs tomorrow will be in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. It looks like a lot of clouds throughout the morning, breaking into some sunshine as we head into the afternoon and early evening. So your forecast for tonight calls for rain and showers, tapering to showers and sprinkles. It's going to stay cloudy overnight. We'll see northerly winds continuing. Tomorrow, plenty of clouds breaking into just a little bit of sunshine by the late afternoon or early evening. High temperatures will be in the 50s to around 60 degrees, depending on how much sunshine we see during the p.m. hours on Tuesday. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 57. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to the Crivitz Area Food pantry and we did that uh, Saturday I forecast 82 and the actual high temperature was 84 degrees as we head into Wednesday look for a mixture of clouds and sunshine warmer right around 60 chance for some showers Wednesday evening into Thursday morning clouds mixing with some sunshine Thursday afternoon temperatures will be in the upper 50s a good chance for rain or showers on Friday highs in the upper 50s sun and clouds on Saturday 59 for Mother's Day a chance for a few showers otherwise mostly clouds cloudy and 54. Monday, sun and clouds, a few showers with high temperatures in the lower to mid 50s. Nina? If you can, Cam, do me a favor and tweak that Mother's Day forecast. I'm going to need some more sunshine and some more warmer temperatures. If you can, work on that for me. <laughs> a vaccine milestone.